So are you fit? Are you playing? Am I fit? Are you playing? There's a couple of questions. Yeah, um, yeah I'm fit. Yeah. I've just got to get through training this week, but um, good chance to play this weekend. What kind of confidence level is there? Very confident. Yep. Very confident. How much training have you done so far, Tex? Oh, I've done a lot. Um, as Trav knows, when you're in rehab, you probably do more training than you do when you're with the group. So I've done a fair bit of training the last seven, eight days. So I'm, I'm in um, great order to be able to play on the weekend. Well, were you close? I was going to say, were you close to playing against Carlton on the weekend? Oh, relatively close, but um, it probably would have been silly if I ran out and um, did a little bit more to my hamstring, so obviously there was a bit of irritation in my left hamstring, so we'll, we'll, uh, I've been able to do a fair bit of conditioning and pretty much all training the last seven or eight days, so I'm, I'm looking forward to training today, train Wednesday with the group, and fingers crossed, hopefully run out against Trav's boys on, on Saturday. That's one certainty. Certainly. Well, he, that's up the pikey whether we want to bring him back in. No, nah, he'll, <laughs> he'll be a good chance as well. No. Beautiful. All right. Well <laughs> no, 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 no. So in terms of sliding, lock sliding, how much has he done? Is he getting close? Was he very close the weekend? Or? Yeah, obviously we had to back him off a little bit to then go forward because he had a bit of a sore foot. So. Um, he's been able to do a fair bit of training as well, so he'll be he'll be very fresh and um, ready to go Saturday. Trevor, are you sore from the Optus Stadium deck? Nah, nah. Look, I think it was, it was a pretty good deck from uh, from my perspective and pulled up really well. So um, got a couple of hours in the water yesterday, which sort of helps as well. What about Paddy? Have you Paddy benefits from a hit out over there? Or? Oh, there's no doubt. Um, and he's pulled up really well. I spoke to him after the game and he got through the game um, really well. And for him, he'd missed a, a fair period of footy, so it was good to get um, you know time and legs out there and a bit of match practice again. So uh, he'll be better for the run. If you can agree to it was a soft performance against the Eagles on Saturday. How much does that sting the group when you hear that sort of play? Oh, it certainly does sting, but we, we're honest. There's no doubt that that performance was um, nowhere near what we expect. I mean, you lose a contested ball by that much, it's a pretty pretty poor performance, and we'll re review that today and um, certainly look at uh, you know that sort of area and, and where, where we let ourselves down and whether it was stoppage, whether it was... Um, you know, other parts of the game, but to lose by that much is very disappointing. You've lost the last five showdowns, I think it is. How hungry are you guys to turn that around this weekend? Oh, we're really hungry to turn that around, there's no doubt about that. And, um, you know, the whole club, our supporters, you know, it's, it's been long enough that we, uh, we haven't won one, so we're pretty hungry to get out there. I suppose conversely, Tex, how hungry are you guys to maintain that dominance that you've had over, over the last couple of years? I didn't know we'd won the last five. I knew we'd won the last couple, but... Um, Oh, showdowns are great. I love playing showdowns. Um, good fun for the state. Uh, they're always great contests no matter where you are on the ladder. So I'll be tipping that uh, it'll be a pretty hot contest come Saturday afternoon. The fire still in them? The last come, you know, the variety and the, the sort of you know, whole approach, it seems like the real animosity may not be as strong as it maybe was before. Do you feel like as soon as it's ready to go that you're still as fierce as ever? Yeah, I, I, I think so, especially um, a tip that Bokey and the boys don't like crows and, and vice versa. So I, I reckon they're great games. They're always hot. Um, they, you, you're always in it till the last quarter, no matter what the score is. So it's, it's going to be great fun. Yeah, there's no doubt the fight's still there. The rob is <coughs> always going to be there. And um, I think that the way they've, they've been played, is, it shows they're still... Um, uh, there's still a lot of, a lot of fire there. Josh, what stands out most? Five showdowns. Some of them make close, some of them make blow. What stands out to you as what play was falling short in? Um, I reckon you look at most of them and, and uh, look, we, we speak about it a lot but we've probably lost in the, the contest the majority of the time in, in those games and um, you lose the you lose the contest more, more likely you're, you're going to lose the game so um, certainly when it's a um, you know, a hotly contested, fierce, fierce game of footy that you've got to be up for the fight. And um, you know, we haven't been able to to match Adelaide in the contested ball in those uh, in those games. And we're going to make sure we're uh, we're up in bed early in, in that area. What do you think that hasn't become a trademark of your group? That would one time be standing out 
Adelaide now? Oh, I think it's the consistency of it, Roach. I think that's that's the biggest thing, and that's been our challenge. Um, you know, probably over the last couple of years is, is our consistency with it, and certainly this year. Uh, it's been the same, and we're, we're trying to get that right. There's no doubt about that. But um, you know, we've got to keep working in what we believe in, and 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 eventually that you know that that title turns. So um, we're confident in our group, and, and the trust in our group is, and, and coaching group is, is is high. So we know we'll turn it around. With that work in the contest, Trav, how important is it to get Sam Hell Pepper and Tom Rockliffe back this week, given they both played pretty well on the Sam Friday night? Yeah, look, both of those are, the last couple of weeks have played some really good footy, so they'll, they'll definitely put their hand up for selection and um, both very, very good contested balls. So, um, yeah, they'll have a good week on the track and, and there's, I think there'll be a, a big chance that they'll, um, you know, put their hand up for selection. Tex, you feel like Adelaide's preparation's been sort of ideal leading into this? I mean, it's a couple of lowly ranked sides, you've stayed at home, whereas Port have had to travel back and from Perth. Reckon it's in your advantage that you've had a, a better prep? Well, we've had seven games, so I'd, I don't class any team now in the competition as easy beats because it's so it's just even. It's just the way it is. You saw Carlton in the second quarter on the weekend, and a little bit was our doing, but they were able to get on top of us and, and score pretty quickly. So um, I think the competition is so even now then that you just have to rock up week in, week out, and put in a four-quarter effort. Otherwise, you run the risk of getting beat. What about mentally, the fact that you haven't had to leave and travel? Does that have a difference at all? Well, the AFL put the draw in front of us and we've just got to... We don't get a choice whether we rock up or don't. We we have to be there at whatever time it is and, and play the game that is scheduled at that time at that venue. That's just the way it is. Trevor, is that running game that you played in the after the summer show? Do they give you an idea of what you should be doing in the showdowns or does the summer one just become... Irrelevant because you know everyone's just experimenting with stuff. Um, oh look, we try and play the same brand of footy no matter what the game is, and, and we know that the showdowns are, are definitely probably uh, up another level. But um, yeah, look, that's the game we want to play. Um, <coughs> was certainly the back after that that game, and and we've tried tried to maintain it uh, through the, the first part of this year, but probably haven't performed it consistently or, or well enough. So look. That's that's our game. We want to take the game on as much as we can. We want to win the contest and, and try and keep it in our fourth half, and that's what we we'll try and do again uh, this weekend, Rich. How's Wayne? Uh, I'm not 100% sure because we we don't start till midday. So mm -hmm. if we did it this afternoon, I'd have a little bit more information. But he's he's fine. He's pulled up pretty well, similar to mine, I think. Um, so he'll have some obviously get some scans throughout the next couple of days and. We'll find out exactly what's wrong. How, uh, how does your concern go for the amount of places to get ahead? It's not ideal. Um, ideally, you like to have your, your best players playing, and um, we review our program every day of the week, so uh, we'll just have to continue to do that to find the reason why we're, we're getting so many injuries, but um, it'll be what it'll be. No one's, no one's died. Um, we'll, next person up. Creates an opportunity for someone else. What modifications have we made to training tests? Like Don said last week in the press conference that there were some modifications given the amount of hamstring injuries. What's sort of changed so far? I probably can't go into too much detail as to what we've modified, okay. um, but as Pikey said, there has been modifications.